Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from Village Craft. I'm super pumped to be able to have you guys here with me. And so, where's the dirt cathedral? Um, well, the issue, issue, it's not really an issue. Um, one of the first projects we're going to be doing here is actually working on the community area, which if you guys saw last episode, and if you didn't, I highly recommend it, is going to be a city, like modern city build. And me and big guy are kind of in charge of that. So we're working on smoothing out this area, which we have our work cut out for us. We might get a few people to help us, but he's going to be joining us fairly soon. Um, for those of you that don't know, I figured I should say it now. I figured at the end of last episode, maybe not all of you will see it, but I have all iron gear and me and fire. We're sharing all resources. Currently we have 38 diamonds and there's a reason I have all iron gear. We are, uh, well, I say we, as in you and me, not fire. Um, we're going, we're never going to mine diamonds is what I decided. We're actually going to try to get all the diamonds we're going to have this whole season from shops. I am a big time redstoner. I love redstone. It's what got me into the game, really. Um, when redstone came out, I couldn't put this down for the longest time. I was awful at it, but I could not put it down. And... Um, I really want to be able to just make a lot of farms and to challenge myself to really go for it and try to do my best and really compete with everyone. Um, I'm not going to mine diamonds. I find them, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to mine around them. Like, we're not going to mine diamonds. Um, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very difficult. It's a creative little thing, but that's going to be our goal. To be able to get full diamond gear, everything like that. And I normally, I have a uh, single player I do if you guys want to see more of what I'm like while these first episodes are coming out. But I carry around like multiple picks everywhere I go. Like there was one period where like if I had less than four picks, I felt something was wrong. So we're going to get that much just like normal um, without ever mining. So I'm kind of really looking forward to it because it's going to be crazy. But Big guy's going to be hopping on here soon. We're going to chat up and then we're going to meet you guys here and we're going to talk about everything. And Deb, thank you so much for sleeping because I didn't bring a bed. I don't know if uh, big guy has a bed here and nighttime's scary, but I'll catch you guys back here in a little bit once big guy gets here. All right. All right. You got armor. I got my. Uh, you got your shades. Shoot. You look good. You look good. Yeah. This is big guy, everyone. Um, His channel's Mr. Braxter. Yeah. Okay, so go check him out. Uh, he'll be linked down in the description anyway if you don't know how to spell that or you don't know where to go or if you're lazy. I'm lazy. <laughs> I wish I had the zoom key. I would have zoomed there. But, um, yeah. So, I'm somebody. Channel is Gaming to Remember for those of you who have the big guy crew. Uh, yeah. What what we doing here, big guy? You want to explain it? Sure. What we're working on is the actual like city part of the Villagecraft Season 3 server. And this is going to be where all our shops and random things of the server like people like if you have the, the ocean monument uh with the, with the farms and all that and or cow farms leather farms whatever what have you, you could come over here and sell your wares to the rest of the server so what we're doing is we're setting up the roads for that area and that will determine not only the size of the shop plots but just the generalness of the roads and i'm glad that it's us two americans doing it because yes. it feels like a a Brit and an American, this would be rolled up. You know. Oh yeah. We're driving on the right side of the roads. We're gonna have a grid pattern, not that weird stuff where it's like, oh, my city was founded before the logic was, so everything's weird. <laughs> no. Grids. <laughs> <laughs> when Aristotle goes, I don't know where this is going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're gonna have a grand old time, but big thing is we got to uh it's hard to build roads on this sharp of an inclined so yeah, a little bit. we gotta lower it down we gotta smooth things out make better transitions so it's basically a big landscaping episode i guess you could say right yeah uh, kind of i mean i've got a good chunk of it already started i got the lawn mode yeah you did honestly uh, this looks this looks beautiful like i got some of it kind of flattened out a little bit at least filled in some of the stupid holes because it was yeah. one of those oh yeah go another 10 feet Whoop, water. oh wow no that's those are annoying but, yeah, so I used a good chunk of the dirt for up some holes. 
Well, I accidentally, I think, brought like three stacks, and we're definitely going to grab more while we're here. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about of dirt? Yeah. See, I got five on me. Five stacks right now? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. Well, might yeah. as well hop into it, though, right? Yep, yeah, let's do it. We got some, because uh, we're going to go all the way up to the birch line, or are we going further than that? I think the birch line. Birch line is looking nice. Round number <laughs> Round number. Birch line. That's a good number. You're both, we are American, so. Down point. Down point. Holy crap! We got all these guys. Yep. Every last bit. All done. Everything's yeah. completely done. We don't need to show you, actually. Right? Just, just Yeah, no, no. You can, you can trust us. We're, we're, yeah, trust we're, we're good. We're, we're good people. We got this. We, we, we totally got this done. This is it. This is all we're doing. All the decorations. Yep. Um, only thing that is left to do is uh, to lower your expectations. <laughs> As the old school SNL skit of lowered expectations. <laughs> you know? um, so we're working. This is going to be the main road here um, going through um, the city. And we decided we want to get this star. We talked a lot. We have a lot of plans for plots and stuff like that. But... This is uh, Big Guy's first episode. Go check it out, guys. Really, go check it out. Um, yeah. But, um, so, he's he's about right now in recording time. I might work here. I might work somewhere else for a little bit. But, yeah, I'm super happy with this. Um, we did a little bit more uh, flattening out up there. We got all this lined up. So, um, yes. We got a, definitely a good chunk of it. Um... Definitely. We're having fire help us with some silk touchness. Yes. He may even donate some picks if he gets too twitchy. Yeah. Um, he's, yeah, no, it's it's a thing. But, you know, he might, at the very least, he's been throwing stacks of smooth stone at us, which definitely helps. We've got a super smelter or the, the little double smelter yeah. over there going with some cobble on there. Yep, we're going to get and, that going uh, and be able to do some more, but. Yeah, it's just, it's gonna be one of those things where we're gonna be stuck until that's done. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. But and until then, oh, this is uh, Diamond Deb. This is Deb. She's amazing. This she's, is City Road West. She's been uh, doing all the sleeping for us, so we don't have to be scared at all times. Uh, um. Oh, she dropped off some stone brick and stuff. Yeah, a little bit. But we got some stone going, and I. Oh, yeah. I'm happy. We have we have our basic ideas, what we want to do, and stuff like that. We're really excited. Me and you're gonna see a lot of me and big guy, big guy and somebody. Just come on, chicken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got one hatch over here. Oh, there you Thank go. You. But yeah, you're gonna see a lot of us together because we're just trying to we're making a city <laughs> at the beginning <laughs> of the season. All right, it's uh oh, day man. six. Um, do you do you have that done now? <laughs> no, no. Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that little bit of time with Big Guy. He is such a fantastic uh, character and just person. Really, really glad to be able to get to know him a little bit. I'm excited to continue to get to know him. Um, but we are on episode 2 now, and he was on episode 1 in that last little bit of recording, so we gotta get going a little bit more. So my game plan with today's episode is, I think for the rest of this, it's gonna be a solo bit. You guys got to see me uh, interact with Fire a lot last time. But I think you guys need a little bit of just like, who is somebody to remember? So we're going to be probably hopping off um, once I finish uh, paving the rest of the road that I can now. We're going to probably hop into a third person, no, first person, first person time lapse of me doing a big branch mining session. And we're going to do a little voice over of, um, well, who I am, what the channel is all about, and, and I'm out what the channel is all about and well i guess a little bit of an introduction for all of you that are just finding me for the first time so let's go do that fix well look who has just happened to randomly wander up into our area after a few hours of begging <laughs> yeah just happened to be in the area like <laughs> in the area that's like yeah. five thousand blocks yeah, away yeah general area right <laughs> so so you'll see my conundrum here. Yeah. I, do you, Do you have a fishing pole? Oh, wow! You have a shiny um, fishing all pole. All that's missing. It oh, has so luck of the sea two, not three. That's all that's missing. Do you have to stand off? 
I, I see don't know. It just doesn't. What the issue is? Yeah, um, that's exactly what's happened to me. I I don't get it. I even I even put redstone down I'm on my own you. with no supervision. I'm proud of you. Well, it doesn't work, so don't be too proud. Ah, I got it. And you're not gonna be very happy. You have to go to the. Uh, Why? You'll have to go to the trapdoor version. No. Oh. Oh. oh really? Oh. No. You might. You might be fine. Okay. You made a jukebox. And. Yeah, I thought that's what someone told me to make. Block. Oh come have, on! Do you have wood in really? your inventory? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. And hopefully. All right. It might work now. I'll okay. find. We'll find out though. Crap! I wasted a diamond <laughs> on that then. I thought it was too far. <laughs> well, well, but now I can play some sweet tunes. Yeah, so I'm cool. gonna. If I want. Okay, this is actually taking a while. Considering I have lore three on this thing, but it seems like it's yes, working it though, right? Oh, you just got something! <laughs> I'm glad you're super excited about that. But. Yeah, I am, because I'm at AFK for the rest of the night and tomorrow and the next right. day, and then I'll be level 100. Yeah, you will. But if you, you see now, I think this is working just fine. So, so just like one tick is on the repeater. Yeah, it's actually, thing? it's really weird because traditionally you do need more, but I think because of the server has a few ticks of lag. You see that? <laughs> like now, in between when it's like resetting, you might have two, three, four casts or something like that, but it uh -huh. won't be forever. Cool. Well, I hate, to, I hate to waste your time. You took all this time to, to, to come the whole way out here just to tell me one dumb thing. <laughs> it's that fine. I, I mean... I thought for sure it was going to be like some sort of redstone compare. I thought you were going to say you have to go to the nether and get a comparator nope, or something. Nope. And I was going to be real nope. sad because I don't want obsidian. No, but honestly, there you go. This is awesome. You got it. We got it going. You're all set to, to fish farm. You're awesome. Good to go. Awesome. Here we are, we're looking good, I'd say, but we're working on something extra right now. So I thought, I'm looking around here, and what we really need and we don't have is a smelter. And just because we're going to be working by the chickens and stuff like that, let's turn that even down to 10. Um, but we don't have like a super smelter or anything like that. So most we have is like the two wide little, little rinky dink little things, and I think we can do better. So... Um, we're not going to have an automatic coal input here. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. Um, and for those of you that haven't made farms like this before, it, it's pretty straightforward, honestly, when it comes to like this size of things. So let's grab out our hoppers. And we're all just go right along. It's going to be pretty simple. Nothing super special for the... Uh, the beginning one because no one's gonna really be here all that much after a week or so so i don't see a reason why we need to make the most amazing of things right off the bat um i want to say courtesy of fire who has been busting uh his tail getting so many resources for um all these blocks he's amazing but let's do something like that let's grab these here there and there and if i'm correct we should be able to pop that in and it's no problem at all so there and thank you 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 yes um do we have we can make a couple levers and what we're going to do probably is for this block i want to do something better than like because we can't put it here or here. I want to do something better than just putting it like a block right there because that's going to block it for the most part. Um, so I kind of wonder the way these work. Because a redstone is a little finicky at times. If I do this, it does work. Awesome. So rather just do something like this. And that tells me that we need to probably do that so if we now not minecart with farmers that's a waste of time um 
And that should go all the way around, and that's just uh, pick things up. So yeah, that looks fine to me. How are you doing? I'm gonna guess it's gonna stop right there, right? Yes, it is. So we just gotta move that over really quick. So let's do exactly that. There you are. Excuse me. Get out of my way. Thank you. Get. Then I'll get rid of this. They're actually, oh, they go all the way in there. I did not know that. Move. Thank you. And we should be fine now. So let's go there. There. Awesome. Let's clean out any of these that need to be. That is fantastic. Yo, yo. Whoop. There we go. So, there. Morello just pop everything in there. Fill it on up. Have it go around. It'll fill up all the hop for all the furnaces. Something nice, quick, and simple. But what we still need is, I think, first thing first is we need probably a crafting table. We can grab that in a little bit. I'm trying to be pretty self-conscious about everything around me. There's so much going up and around us, and I'm worried that we're going to have uh, spoilers in every episode, but that should be fine. I'll have to get some oak wood off camera just in case I would spoil anything, but let's go up and around here. Something nice and simple to cover up the ugly, ugly hoppers. And we'll probably use wood. Maybe a I want to use spruce, frankly. Like, but I don't think anyone really has much spruce yet. So maybe a little bit of dark oak at the bottom. I just want to get used to all the new textures. But we're going to do that. And then these are probably going to be, um, above these is going to be cobblestone walls going up until it gets to, well, where the roof's going to be. So I'm going to hop off, get a few more resources from a couple chests because I don't want to spoil anything. And then we'll be right back to it. Okay? Okay. Welcome back guys. So I've decided that spoilers are kind of gonna happen no matter what. Um So instead of hussing and fussing about it, we're just gonna get to work. So the way we're gonna do this is first of all we're gonna have probably I wanna say two layers of um cobblestone fence. Just get that texture variation in on the bottom row as you can see um and bring around and also kind of covers up the redstone torches and any of that mess a little bit at least so that's good something like that awesome and then from here i'm kind of i'm inspired a little bit right now a little bit i really would like to be able to do a japanese style kind of house and to do that think we need to go like this there'll probably be a block there I want to do the edges of it in cobblestone is the idea so something like this and then that's already the center we went too far it has to start gradual and then build up quite quick so in in fact, we might have to do something like, whoops, on the bottom of that though, please, thank you, like this, bring it up, and then maybe we can grab a full block if we had it, something like that. So let's break all this, yes, I'm using a stone axe, the iron one broke, and still got the uh, motivation to go grab another one at the moment so let's do something like this I want that to be filled in let's go down here and let's just take a quick look is that the right size and right angle that I would like yeah I'd have to bring it out by another block I think maybe just the front part of it maybe at oh I don't have my zoom key at this point where there's like the three stairs intersecting, maybe bring it out by a block at that point. I think that would look good. So let's hop up there really quick. Creeper Blast, it looks like. 
let's hop there up there really quick make that adjustment take a look at how that looks and then i'll probably be going off my own for a little bit of off screen building but this is important um probably something there oh i just realized why didn't i think of the stairs better much better all right and then yeah i can do this i can do this right 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 there we go and if it's like that we will need oh fire's talking i think with uh jeff who just got online hit with spoon all right that looks fine to me okay i'm gonna do that and adjust the corners a little bit the corners look a little off to me and then hey jeff hey, hello um i'm going to get back with you guys when i have the outline of the roof done we'll do the actual roof together all right all right all righty guys welcome back so game plan is kind of follow this shape and outline from here over and make it all kind of connect up nice and even the way we're going to work on that though is by using the dark oak and oak so let's get some of our slabs maybe yeah maybe around 16 no we're gonna need more let's not even pretend sorry uh that was the terrace i was talking about earlier let's grab some more of those and ta-da we should be all set maybe for now ish very scientific term so i'm thinking i want the center of this to be the dark oak um it's just it's a, it feels it feels eye-catching um i like that so i want to try that um so let's go over here Ooh, we didn't put down that slab come here there we go and from here i'm thinking we're gonna do texture variation um a little bit well i don't think texture is the right word when they're all the same texture now is it but a little bit of variation with and I'm just putting this in for the sake of underneath this, we'll be able to see up. And I don't like the idea of it being a weird gap. Um, Break you. We could have gotten up on the other side, I guess, but this works just as fine. Let's do something like this. And then we'll need the slabs here that looks fine to me let's do the same thing over here really quick and so whoop, 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 whoop. there you come back to me now thank you friend this is one of those where it's like people always say you can't have connected textures you can't have connected textures but i believe that this new texture pack is trying to make it so you can so i'm going to do these last two off camera i'll catch you back when i am done all right i think we're done this is the inside of it with that cobblestone i was talking about kind of keeps things in here um but we have a lot of coal courtesy of fire and i'm really grateful for that so we have it is 15 furnaces so 64 that means each one gets about half a stack four uh it's uh, uh, uh quarter stack is math is good for everyone it just hurts in the process so i'm pretty happy and if i did my math wrong don't worry i'll uh, adjust accordingly but this is awesome we have a nice little community community uh english 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 uh super smelter so i'm really really grateful for that um let's keep this going a little bit and it's going to be about 16 a little more than i think i'm going to give the rest back to him because he gave a lot and i'm very grateful so that's awesome let's sprint back through the night as i'm terrified looking downwards of course because of spoilers i'm going to try to block it out as much as possible there's a skeleton about to shoot me in three two 
One. Ah. So. Just gonna hop into the dirt hut, go to bed, and I'll catch you guys back in the morning for a little last outro take. Hey guys, so, to make sure everything works, I mean, we have to test it at least once, right? So, we're able to... Eh? Oh, there we go. Drop all these in. We're only putting five stacks at a time. That's the only downside. Ooh. Will that ever fill up? In fact, I don't even see the cart coming back. There it is. Hmm. That might be a little bit of a bummer, but I think we'd have to move this out by another block, I believe. Ah, that's what it is. So this furnace is being powered. That's a bummer. Okay, we can fix that, though, really quick. We have a little bit of cobblestone. So if we go here, pop that there. Remove that and pop it up here and turn it on. We should be fine. And because of that, we're going to have to change these. And no, we aren't because I can't reach that anymore. <laughs> Ah, oh, silly mistakes are silly, but hey, at least it's on for now. And let's go see how much we collect in just one pass. I'm really curious. I want to see. So, and coming back, and there we go. Not bad at all, but that's going to be it for me, guys. So, we do have Fire Tick off this season, so I don't have to worry about burning this thing down. But thank you guys so much for coming out. I greatly appreciate it. hope you guys are enjoying, and let me know anything you want to know. Uh, as I said earlier, questions are appreciated, uh, whether it's to do with Tourette's, Minecraft, anything about life. I would love to answer, and I'll catch you guys back here sometime really soon. Goodbye!